life has changed. It's a new reality we face in the world around us and in our own lives. Despite this, you remain as adventurous, as committed, as innovative, and as patient as ever before. Maybe you thought you'd never see this day, feel this moment, experience graduation quite like this, but here you are at the end of one journey and at the beginning of another. As you go forward, remember your path, your challenges, your triumphs, and your dreams. And above all else, eat them up, cats. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Texas State University's Fall 2020 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. We are very pleased to have all of you joining us today. I'm Dr. Jean Bourgeois, the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Texas State University. I would like to take a moment to recognize our faculty, staff, and students for adapting to and persevering through these very challenging times. A special thank you goes out to all frontline and healthcare workers for their extraordinary dedication and efforts to help protect and support our communities. Texas State has united its efforts to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our Bobcat community has come together with a shared priority in mind, the health, safety, and wellness of our students, faculty, staff, and our larger community. For the safety of the community, Difficult decisions had to be made, but not without the profound realization of the impact on the educational experience of our students, engagement with alumni and our Bobcat supporters, and the entire work environment of faculty and staff. We are inspired by and proud of the resilience of the community and the dedication shown to protect our beloved university. To our graduating students, families, and friends, it is my pleasure to offer you this special tribute to our culture, our traditions, and our spirit of place presented by our Voca Libre Ensemble. i 
The noblest search is the search for excellence. These are the words of the 36th President of the United States, Lyndon Baines Johnson, class of 1930. Candidates, you have been engaged in that noblest search during your time here at Texas State, and today marks another milestone in your continuing pursuit of that excellence. I ask that you reflect on our university's shared values and allow your life to continue to be guided by them, in particular, that you allow your life to be guided by valuing the cultivation of character and the modeling of honesty, integrity, compassion, fairness, respect, and ethical behavior, that you allow your life to be guided by valuing the free exchange of ideas, that you allow your life to be guided by valuing a commitment to public service, and lastly, that you allow your life to be guided by valuing a diversity of people and ideas, a spirit of inclusiveness, a global perspective, and a sense of community that may serve as essential conditions for our world. At this time, I would like to recognize a special group of people. If able, would all United States active military personnel, veterans, and ROTC students who are graduating and those joining us today, please stand so that we may show our appreciation to you for your service. Thank you all very much. This is a very happy and important occasion for us at Texas State, for our degree candidates, and for their families and friends. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the president of Texas State University, Dr. Denise M. Trouth. President Trouth. Thank you, Dr. Bourgeois. Graduates, it's an honor to welcome you to the Texas State University's virtual commencement ceremony celebrating our fall class of 2020. This graduating class is truly historic and we are so proud of you. You face the unprecedented challenges of this year with hope, tenacity, and grace. In true Bobcat spirit, you have been unstoppable. I know your family and friends are filled with pride for you on this special day. You are ready to put your world-class education to use, solving problems and improving your communities. And you stand on the precipice of a world in need of your voice, your solutions and your talents. The pandemic has changed so much about our lives and the world we live in. This may not be the transition you envisioned as you graduate and enter the next chapter of your life. But in truth, change will be a constant companion throughout your lifetime, which makes resilience your superpower. You are ready for the future because you are leaving Texas State not only educated in your chosen field, but also equipped to remain lifelong learners. One of the most important skills you have honed is how to learn. You will call on this skill often as you experience change in your careers, your family, our nation, and our world. Amid all this change, there are facets of Texas State that are everlasting. Values connect us. Our shared values are the foundation for our sense of community and traditions. We care about our community and fellow Bobcats. We are driven to make the world a better place. In the same way that we have values in common, our graduates have shared experiences. Some of you worked part-time or full-time while pursuing your degree. You may be the first in your family to receive a degree, which is a tremendous accomplishment. Some of you had never been to Texas until you came to study at our university. And some of you will be staying here 
or going to another university for your graduate studies. You should all feel very proud of your achievements. Now I want to share my sincerest thanks to two groups of people celebrating with us today. Our graduates' parents, family, and friends who helped make this day possible, and our outstanding faculty members who are a constant source of support and inspiration for our students. Your time as a student here may be finished but I hope this place will forever feel like a home to you. I am proud to welcome you to an alumni network that is 200,000 strong. Today, I charge you to go forth and show the world what it means to be a Bobcat. We know that you will represent Texas State well and we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. And now, I would like to introduce our special guest. John Quinones is an Emmy-winning ABC News veteran and the creator and host of the social experiment show, What Would You Do? A lifetime of never taking no for an answer took him from migrant farm work and poverty to a stellar career in broadcast news and television. He spent more than 30 years at ABC News at the anchor desk of 2020 and prime time. He's a seven time Emmy award winner with numerous other honors to his credit. What would you do? His hidden camera ethical dilemma show is now in its 14th season. Through all the memorable episodes, John has become the face of doing the right thing to millions of fans. He earned his bachelor's degree in speech communication from St. Mary's University in San Antonio and a master's degree from the Columbia University School of Journalism. He was also awarded honorary doctoral degrees from Davis and Elkins College in West Virginia and from Utah Valley University. As a prelude to all his successes, he was a participant in Upward Bound, the educational program our most famous alumnus, President Lyndon Baines Johnson, set in motion 55 years ago. Upward Bound helps high school students from low-income families and first-generation students pursue their college dreams. John Quinones came to Texas State through this program as a teenager and has since credited that experience with helping him become the award-winning journalist he is today. Now he returns to Texas State to share a message of congratulations with our graduates. Please welcome John Quinones. Hello, Texas State University graduates. Yes, I am the host of ABC's What Would You Do? But today it's all about what you have already done. Congratulations to this class of 2020. This is a huge, huge milestone clearly in your lives and you should all be very, very proud of yourselves. It's a real tribute to your perseverance, to your determination, and as we say in Spanish, to your ganas, the strength to carry on against all odds. I know all too well what it's like to struggle and to have to overcome hurdles. I was a kid born and raised in the barrio on the west side of San Antonio, the kid who had to shine shoes in bars for 10 cents a pair to help out his family. And then we picked cherries in Michigan and tomatoes in Ohio as migrant farm workers. I couldn't even speak English when I first entered public school. But like you, I had my pocket full of dreams. And I was taught by my mother Maria that I was just as good as everyone else, no matter what side of the tracks I was born on. As hard as it was to do, I vowed to myself that nothing would ever hold me back and that someday, I would make my mother Maria proud as well as the rest of my family. 
In fact, my very first semester in college was right there at Texas State. And it wasn't easy. Like many of you, I needed a lot of help from my family, friends, loans, grants, work study, and a federal government anti-poverty program called Upward Bound. I wouldn't be the man I am today if it had not been for all those helping hands. And yet, I'm even more impressed and more proud of your class in particular because you have had it tougher than the rest of us. These are difficult times in our nation and around the world as we grapple with the COVID-19 pandemic. And yet somehow through it all, you have managed to barrel through this past year. Of course, you deserve to bask in the glory of your achievements and that beautiful diploma. But when this well-deserved celebration is over, I want you to remember what this pandemic has taught us. And that is, that the people who have been hit the hardest by this vicious virus are the folks who have the least, people of color, and folks who live under the poverty line, on the fringes of society, the undocumented, the folks, the folks who are marginalized in our society. And yet, they are the ones who very often are doing America's toughest, dirtiest jobs with the least protection, with little or no health care. They can't work out of their home office. They don't have one. Those of us lucky enough to have gotten a college education and eventually good jobs should try as much as we can to practice the lessons that we've learned doing my show, What Would You Do? And that is to go forward with compassion and empathy in your hearts. Put yourselves in the shoes of those who are less fortunate. Give a voice to people who don't have a voice. Sound the alarm when you witness injustice. You know, someone once told me that when you step into that elevator of success and get to the top level, don't forget to push the button and send that elevator back down again for those still left behind. Better yet, maybe you go down there yourself and help pull them up. And another bit of advice, those of you who are first generation college graduates like I was, make sure you go back to your families, back to your communities and inspire the younger folks who need encouragement. Offer them guidance and support, reminding them that if you could make it, then of course, so can they. As you embark on your careers, especially during these trying times, you're going to need to stay positive. You're going to have to work even harder to get noticed and to make a name for yourselves. That means you probably will have to develop a tough skin. You won't, you'll stumble there at the beginning and you may not be able to get your dream job right away. In fact, you probably won't but that's okay. I can show you 80 letters of rejection that I got when I was first trying to break into television news. It seemed no one was willing to take a chance on me, but I never gave up. I never took no for the ultimate answer. I followed the wise advice that someone once gave me. They said to me, if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. And if you don't step forward, you will always remain in the same place. Never ever stop stepping forward and believing in yourselves and shooting for the stars. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're incredibly proud of you. Thank you, John. What inspirational words of encouragement for our graduates. This morning, we are recognizing fall 2020 candidates. Will all of our candidates please stand? The academic hood that is worn by recipients of specialist, masters, and doctoral degrees includes colored velvet that signifies the degree earned. The special lining in the hood represents the school colors of Texas State University. The maroon and gold solid cords worn by some baccalaureate candidates signify academic honors, and the crystal medallions signify the Honors College designation. These achievements are specially noted in the commencement program. President Trouth, on behalf of the faculty, college deans, and dean of the Graduate College, I am pleased to certify to you that the qualified students have completed all requirements for the various degrees. We recommend that their degrees be conferred.
upon the recommendation of the faculty, college deans, dean of the graduate college, and provost bourgeois, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Texas State University System and by the State of Texas, I hereby award to you these doctoral, specialist, master's, and baccalaureate degrees with all the associated rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Graduates, those of you with Texas State rings, you may now turn your Texas State ring facing outward, symbolizing the completion of your degree here at Texas State University. And now, I invite all of you to participate in another time-honored tradition. Graduates, as a symbol of your new academic status, please move the tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Congratulations. Would you all now please join me in welcoming Texas State's newest alumni. Congratulations, graduates. Following the singing of the alma mater, please join us for college-specific ceremonies to hear the calling of graduate names. The videos are available on this webpage. Thank you for joining us this morning. As we close our ceremony, I am pleased to share a special performance of the Texas State Alma Mater presented by our Texas State Chorale. Will you all please join us in singing the Alma Mater? 